Welcome to Pro Tools. I've uh, loaded in a little sample of a song that I've uh, recorded with a singer here. And let's go ahead and just play a little bit of back so you can get accustomed to this recording. Maybe we can go back to where we started. Maybe we can ride for free. Okay. So the purpose of this is to show you, uh, after you've watched all of these elastic audio uh, movies, is to kind of give you a little tutorial myself of this, just to help make things a little bit easier for you. If you'll notice over here, we have this raw waveform here. If we go over to the window here and click on this little icon, you can choose samples or ticks. You would like to choose ticks because if you choose ticks, the speed of the track changes relative to any tempo change that you make. Very important. To the right of that, there's your little button here where you can choose the type of elastic audio that you want to deal with. Polyphonic, rhythmic, monophonic, or very speed. In this case, I'll make this polyphonic. Once I choose this, you'll notice that this immediately goes offline and is being processed, so now I can work with this audio in this format. The next step would be to go up to Regions menu and drag down to Elastic Properties. Now you'll notice that it says nothing is selected so until you select something this then becomes active for you. So as we play this back now I'm going to adjust the beats per minute so that you can hear this. Maybe we can go back to where we started maybe we can ride for free taking the sorrows turning them tender mostly moving shades mostly moving shades of grain so this stretches it if I could also, using this as a polyphonic, I'm able to change the pitch. If this were monophonic, I would not be able to do this. So as this plays now, Maybe we can go back I can now change it in semitones. Let's have it go down a step. Maybe we can ride for free Taking the sorrows Time does not change, only pitch. If we, speed it, if we move the pitch up, a semitone. Again, time does not change. So these two elements are totally separated now, pitch and time, in elastic audio.